Who's building? Except the Lord build the house. The very first statement. Except. Except. Except the Lord build the house. That let you know nobody, hear me good, can build this thing without God's permission. That's right. Nobody. That's right. God's house is God's church. This building is just a natural house right. to house God's house. That's right. Do you get me? Yeah. This natural building is a natural house to house the spiritual house. That's right. The natural house, by the grace of God, is built by men, mm -hmm. by God's permission. Yeah. The spiritual house is built solely by God himself. That's right. God used a plumb line to build his house. Hear me good. That's right. Because he don't want his house to be crooked. Nope. He don't want no bows in the wall. That's right. He don't want no buckle. Amos chapter 7 and verse 7. Follow me. Amos chapter 7 and verse 7. Thus he showed me. Uh -huh. And behold, the Lord stood upon a wall made by a plumb line. The wall was made by what? By a plumb line. By a plumb line. With a plumb line in his hand. Now the plumb line is the instrument of straightness, as I said before. And it's in the hand of God. That's right. The reason why it's in his hand, that lets you know he guides it. That's right. He directs his building. He directs who goes in the building. Whenever one is baptized with the Holy Ghost speaking in tongue, that's another stone placed in the building. For by one spirit. The Bible says in the book of Corinthians. 1 Corinthians 12 and verse 13. Yeah. For by one spirit. By one spirit. Are we all baptized. Are we all baptized. Into one body. So the Holy Ghost has to place you in the body, in the church, in the bride. That's right. You can't put yourself in. No. It takes God to put you in. Right. When you repent of your sins and are baptized in water in the name of Jesus Christ and have the baptism of the Holy Ghost speaking in tongue like they obtained it on the day of Pentecost, that's a lively stone added to God's building, God's church. That's right. Now the plumb line, hear me good, is in God's hand. Thus he showed me and behold. And behold. Back in Amos chapter 7 and verse 7. Yes. Thus he showed me, and behold, the Lord stood upon the a wall. The Lord stood. Upon a wall. He, you know, he stood upon the wall, let you know he was watching over it. That's right. He was overseeing it. That's right. Amen. Making sure it goes right. Not only was he overseeing it, he uh, made sure it go right, so he decided to build it himself. That's right. Amen. God don't trust no man. Yeah, man. To build his church. No way. Are you listening, viewers? That's right. Even though he came in the flesh, made men apostles, men is not building God's church. No. Men have to work with the Lord. That's the it. Bible says we are labor together, together. With, God. with God. And laboring together with God Man is not responsible That's right. for not one stone That's right. going in God's building. For, live, for we are labors together Do you with hear God. This? In 1 Corinthians 3 and verse 9. Tell you what? For we are labors together with God. With God. Ye are God's husbandry. Ye, ye, ye you are God's husbandry. Ye are God's husbandry. Ye are God's building. I told you this is not no bishop's church. That's right. Not mine church. Not your bishop's church. It never will be your bishop's church right. unless he started it. That's right. Thank God this is a church that no man started, no. no man built. Jesus established it himself. That's right. Listen at this. Ye are, ye are God's husbandry. Ye are God's husbandry. Ye are God's building. What is it? 
Back now in first. No, Corinthians. finish up Corinthians. Say where you at. Yes, first Corinthians chapter three. You are God's husband. You are God's building. At verse ten. As a wise master builder. According to the grace of God, which is given unto me. What is it? As a wise master builder. What kind? A wise master builder. You know, God don't want no dumb builders. <laughs> That's right. You know, I have to meet with the city <laughs> so much, and them are some of the most dumb and dumbest inspectors I ever seen. That's right. You know, when I sit at the table with inspectors, you would expect the fact that they should be able to understand blueprints. That's right. But when the, and how in the world is an inspector going to inspect my blueprints that they can't understand? My Lord. You're supposed to have knowledge of the blueprints. Yeah. You can't criticize my prints if you don't have knowledge of what prints are, no. if you think prints are little cartoons, you need to get away from the table. <laughs> now, viewers, hear me good. The word of God is the blueprints for the church. That's right. This is why I am adamant. They keep the church just like Jesus kept it. Right. Stay with the Bible. I don't care who I displease, who I make mad, who get angry, who say I'm leaving. Bye. That's right. I say to you like Jesus said. Uh, you know, uh, they gathered around Jesus, the apostles did, and amen. And he said, uh, eat my body. And, drank my blood on one occasion, then another occasion he said, uh, you're going to betray me. That's right. Yeah. You're going to leave. You're, gonna leave me. you're not going to stick around. No. Yeah, you know, diff one says on that matter and one said on that matter, but even the hypocrite got involved. That's right. Lord. Is it I? Is it I? Is it I? Huh? That's right. Hey, Amen. He wanted to blend in. <laughs> Lord. That's right. Is it, I? Is it I? He knew it was him. Mm -hmm. Jesus said, Thou sayest, thou says. whatever you do, do quickly. Do quickly. Do quickly. So when men try to tell me, Pastor Jennings, you got to stop preaching this, and it's in the Bible. Pastor Jennings, I'm leaving if you keep preaching this, and it's in the Bible. A sister tells me, I don't care if she's a secretary for 400 years. A mother tells me, Pastor Jennings, I've been with you since the day you started. But even those in the Bible, if you don't change, I'm leaving. Me? Me? I say like Al Pacino, you talking to me? <laughs> Pastor Jennings, I'm leaving. Whatever. Whatever. You do. You quickly. Do how, church? Quickly. How you do it? Quickly. I've said before and I say again, we're not changing. No. We're not moving. Oh, no. The Lord brought us this far. That's right. And we're going to stay with the Bible. Thank God so the Lord can take us further. That's right. I had many men come in and try to lay ultimatums to me. <laughs> Laying an ultimatum to me is like striking oil in your toilet. That's not going to happen. And you pull out 100 barrels of crude. <laughs> It'll never happen. It won't happen. It'll never happen. No, no. Pastor Jennings, I'm a good man here. Yeah. You can't afford to lose me. I can't be replaced. You bigger than God then. That's right. Because when I read the Bible, everybody can be replaced. That's right. Am I right, like sir? That's right. Moses died. Yeah. Joshua. Didn't he do, sir? Yes, he did. Come on, Joshua. Come on, Joshua. Rise up. Go on this journey. And Moses died and the Lord buried him, but the journey kept going. That's right. God swung Joshua in with no problem at all. That's right. And God told Joshua one thing that was so encouraging. Yeah. 
as I was with Moses. So shall I be with you. Right then, that let Joshua know, I got your back. That's right. Hallelujah. Glory to God. As I was with Moses. So shall I be with thee. So shall I be with you. That's right. Amen. So many men have laid ultimatums to me. Amen. And uh, I don't know what they thought they would approve or be successful in. But I'm a man who don't bow to nobody's ultimatum. No. Nobody. I can't be bought nope. by no price. That's right. Some folks say everybody got a price. If you do, speak for yourself. That's right. I am one man that don't have a price at all from nobody. Not at all. Because I was already bought. That's right. Yeah. I will say I was bought with, with, the price. Price. with the price. And all of God's people, Jesus came and purchased us already. That's right. And we're not for sale. That's right. You know, that's a good feeling, you know. That's just so steadfast and so firm and so settled. Hallelujah. Thank God and so grounded that nobody can offer you anything. I don't mean you won't get weak. I'd rather get weak than leave God. That's right.